Welcome everyone to the 2020-21 school year. Um, right now, uh, there are so many things unknown, uh, so I don't want to speculate on how things are going to happen, but we certainly have realized that our students need to be in school. Uh, we can't afford not to have students learning this semester. So we are going to try to provide you and your students with the best education that we can possibly give them in the safest environment that we can provide. There are going to be several things that we're going to have to discuss today to talk about uh, how we can make uh, this happen. Uh, first of off, we want to make sure that all of our students are safe, our employees are safe, uh, and so, with that being said, there are several protocols and guidelines that we're going to follow. I do want to um, tell you that um, we're going to be here for you, and if you need to make any changes or we need to do anything to, to assist you to make sure that this educational process occurs, we certainly will uh, do that for you. But I do want to go over several things. Uh, for our open house and this orientation. Face masks required. Face masks are required to enter the building and to be worn at all times except to eat breakfast or lunch. Note, students who refuse to wear a face mask in school will be transitioned to the all virtual platform. We will uh, try to have a mask for you here, but we are asking that you all provide your students with masks and they must wear those at all times. Uh, if you're a bus rider, those masks will have to be worn before you or while you get on the bus. And then once you enter the building, uh, your mask must be worn at all times. Building entry and temperature checkpoints. The building will open at 8 a.m. Temperatures will be taken every day at entry checkpoints. Car riders must be dropped off on the side of the building near the auxiliary gym locker rooms. Car rider students must enter through the door that gives access to the cafeteria. Bus riders will enter the door in between the cafeteria and media center. Student drivers may park in the student parking lot but must enter the building between the cafeteria and the media center. No students may enter the front of the building prior to 850 tardy bell. So what we're telling you is, is that if you are a car rider, you will come in where you always have, uh, at the back side of the gym and come in through the cafeteria. We will have people there that will check your temperature before you can enter the building. All bus riders and student drivers, you will be uh, asked to come in between the media center and the cafeteria exit. Bus riders, you've always done that. Car riders, I'm not. Student drivers, you have not. But uh, we will ask that you come in through there, where there will be somebody there to check your temperatures. All students arriving between 8 o'clock and 8.20 will report to the cafeteria as normal. At 8.20, those students who are not going to eat breakfast will report directly to their first period class to wait for school to start. Students eating breakfast will sit in marked seats only and remain physically distant at all times. Any student who arrives from school, who arrives after school has started, will enter through the office to get their temperature checked. So uh, we will not have any doors open. I know that some of you have had students that have gotten here earlier than 8 a.m. Uh, we will not be able to unlock the doors until 8 a.m. So. Uh, once the doors are open at 8, if your child comes to school and they are not going to eat breakfast, at 8.20 we'll release them to go to their classrooms where they will uh, be ready, waiting for first period class. And what this is is just a chance for us to physically distance our students away apart so they're all not in the cafeteria at one time. Daily COVID-19 protocols while in school. What to do while in school? Students will not be able to stop and socialize in between classes in the hallway. Uh, you must, once the bell rings, remain socially or physically distant from other students and go straight to your next peer class. We, uh, students must uh, go directly from one class to the next, staying physically distant. Transition times between classes has changed between five minutes to four minutes. 
Uh, this is to encourage students to go ahead and not be physically talking and standing around in the hallways. All bathrooms will be closed in between classes. This is totally opposite of what uh, we've taught you in the past. Um, we will give, teachers will be giving bathroom passes for those of you that need to go to the restroom and we're going to do that uh, after classes start um, because we don't want 25, 30 people in the bathroom. So we're going to have teachers will be allowing students to go uh, in during the, during the class time. Uh, all water fountains are turned off. We're in the process of getting these no-touch waterless uh, water uh, spouts, uh, but we do not have those in as of yet, so we will allow your student to bring a clear water bottle with them during the day, uh, or two, how many ever they want to carry in their backpack, but you, they will be allowed to have water with them during the day. Lunches. Students will sit in marked designated seats uh, that are physically distant in the cafeteria. We put an X in every seat that uh, students will be able to sit in. We're trying to do six feet in between all students. Uh, so just look for the marked seats in the cafeteria. Students may also go outside to sit on the picnic tables or eat, eat uh, to eat on the, or they can even bring a blanket, sit on the ground, uh, do whatever they want as long as weather is permitting. We are going to allow them to spread themselves out in the back uh, area behind the cafeteria to eat lunches. Uh, students may either bring their lunch or they may purchase one from the cafeteria, which will be a pre-packaged lunch. All lunches that we will serve this year will be pre-packaged and closed off. Uh, and so you can either bring your lunch or bring that. But due to the COVID-19 protocol, we will not be allowing any fast food items from outside to be dropped off for students in the office uh, for them to be retrieved by the secretary. So there will be no outside deliveries brought in. Um, so either bring your lunch or you can purchase a lunch from the cafeteria. Attendance. Daily attendance will be taken. All students, whether you're blended, traditional, or virtual, all students are required to attend classes each day. Each period and attendance will be taken by uh, their teacher of record for that class. So if you are a strictly a virtual student, you must click in on the link to sign up to, for that class each period. If you are uh, on A or B day, and of course, if you're here, you will, attendance will be taken for you. And then if you're not here, then you must click in uh, on that class. But you must check in for every class to be counted present. Uh, you will need to make contact every day during that class period with your teacher, or you will be marked as an unexcused absence. Parents will receive an alert call every class period if the student is marked unexcused, which means if your student is not checking in each period, you will receive a phone call from the school. When a student is marked unexcused five times in any one class, a letter will be sent home to the parent. Doctor's notes and excuses may be scanned in and emailed to our attendance clerk, Ms. Aguilera. Please do that within the th uh, first three days of when the unexcused absence occurred. There will also be a box on the attendance office door to leave your excuse notes. Students can only have six parent notes a semester. All others, uh, all others will be considered unexcused. Parents can email Ms. Aguilera at daguilera at pcssd.org if you have any further questions. The counselor's corner. All right, Ms. Tidwell will be ninth grade uh, students ending last name ending in A through G and she will also be uh, the counselor for all 11th graders. Uh, Miss M finger will be uh, ninth grade students H through O and all 12th graders and then Miss McLean will be ninth graders P through Z and all 10th graders. Meetings with your counselor students will need to be set up in advance to set up an appointment or meeting with your counselor you must email them. So just email your counselor if you're going to request a meeting. Parents, all meetings are being held virtually at this time. Please email or call your child's counselor to set up an appointment time. Transcript requests, please email jhoward at pcssd.org 
she is our registrar and she can get you those transcripts uh, official or unofficial so schedules schedules will be uh, uh, viewable on hack your student will be uh, will need to take a screenshot of their schedule prior to the first day of school we will be handing out the hard copies of the schedules during that first period but you'll at least have to take a screenshot of what's on the hack so you know what where uh, to go for your first period class after that we'll give you a hard copy paper copies will uh, of the schedules will be given out during their first period if you do not know your hack username and password please email d osborne at pcssd.org schedule changes will only be allowed for the following uh, you have already taken the course then we will reschedule you are missing a class you need for graduation then we will change that you do not have a full schedule of seven classes you are in a grade level course but would like to take a pre-AP or AP course per administration there will be no schedule changes to switch teachers students you need a schedule change a parent or guardian must email the student's counselor uh, we are not going to be changing any classes after the first Friday that school starts. So if we start on the 24th, all schedule changes will need to be made uh, prior to the 29th, from the end of the day 20, on the 29th. Uh, and you will not be allowed to change classes due to the teacher. Uh, all of our teachers are highly qualified and um, uh, we, uh, we think that all of them can do a great job. Other important information, what you need to know, lockers will not be used this year. Uh, we do not want students congregating in the hallway, so there's no need for you to have a lockers. But those of you that wish to bring a backpack, the, the change this year is that it must be clear mesh only. We must be able to see inside of the backpack. Checking in and out of school, parents, if you want to check your student in or out, you will come to the front lobby uh, where we have a, uh, a camera and a microphone there for you to sign in. You will sign your student in. Student will be allowed to come into the building. You will remain at the uh, in the foyer area. So if you come in, you sign them in, you stay in the foyer, and the student will check their temperature and they can come on in. All students checking in or out must do that through the main office. Parties. Uh, even though we've cut the time down for to four minutes, we do expect that all students get to class on time. Uh, we will continue to do like we did last year, in that if your student does not get to class on time, we will ask that they go to ISS to virtually view their uh, class. Okay. Uh, ISS will still be used in school suspensions and Saturday school. So if we uh, we'll follow the discipline ha uh, the uh, district handbook on student discipline. You can view that online. If you would like a hard copy of that, please send me an email and I will get you a hard copy of it. Uh, but uh, they are the handbook is online, so you can see that uh, there. Um, student fees. Let me just say this: if if uh, your student you know, obviously refuse to wear face masks, it's not going to be unsafe for them, so we'll, we'll make them go completely virtual. But if a student continues to have discipline issues at school uh, and seems to uh, not be able to, uh, to adhere to the rules here, then we will also ask that they go strictly virtual. They can go uh, completely virtual as well. Uh, that way we can still offer them the education without the disruption. Uh, from the school activity. Um, okay, we do have student fees this year, the student fees. Uh, every student, uh, whether you're virtual, traditional, or blended, will pay tw a $20 student fee. Uh, what we're doing this year, $10 of that is going to a fast pass for all students, which means if you pay $10 at the beginning of the year, you're allowed into any PCSSD function for free throughout the year. Whether it be at Sylvan Hills, Mills, Robinson, or here, you can go, that requires uh, students to pay. You can go pay $10 at the beginning of the year, and you can go to any of those events uh, throughout the year for free. 
We also will charge uh, 15, uh, five dollars for uh, your ID badge. You must have an ID badge, whether you're virtual, blended, or traditional. You must have your ID badge uh, to get into any event, especially if you're going to be attending school. Those ID badges will be very important in uh, getting your lunches or being able to uh, get into certain areas within our school. So, and then uh, we're, the other five dollars is going to be for uh, materials that we need this year. Uh, to help us with the online and blending because we're going to be teaching in two different aspects uh, We have to purchase some other things for different projects for our students So that five dollars will be going to help your child help do their projects So that's a breakdown of our student fees and now for any uh, Questions or concerns that you have you can see here uh, the listed uh, of the principal myself and then the assistant principals and their emails. So if you have any questions or concerns, please get back with us and we will uh, get with you uh, before the end of the 21st, which is next Friday. Also, if you are a blended student, uh, I know that many of you are wanting to know um, which uh, days you will come, either Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. We are working on that as we speak. You will know that before uh, next uh, you will have that date uh, before August the uh, 19th, so I will be presenting that information to you. You will receive an email or call out saying which, if you're blended only, uh, which days you will be coming to school, okay? Thank you uh, for being patient with us this year, and we look forward to having uh, all of you here and uh, providing you with the best education that we can. Even though these are difficult times, we will prevail. I can promise you that. And we're going to do what we can do uh, to make sure that we have a successful year. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you on August 24th.